Next question on the list of questions here, Ron, is that, Ron, if we cre create a world we want, why can't we just create the money we need to begin our work right now? Well, <clears throat> it's a good question. And, uh, you know, in my devious ways, I say, well, what did the Alliance say to you about creating your, your funds? That's the source that you want to be asking your questions to. It's not that I don't want to answer the questions. That's not a, that's not a problem. But the fact is, is that you can ask the Alliance because every person is different. Every person is unique in their own purpose. And sometimes the money is not here because we're not prepared for it. Can the Alliance tell us that? Why, why am I not getting the funds? Well, there's some, let's, let's talk about this. Let's determine in your mind what you need to do to get the funds. And so you tell them what you feel and, and I should be able to do this. Well, are you focusing properly? Do you ask? And then in the next sentence say, I don't, I'm not, I'm not worthy of that. So that's not going to happen. Those are the things we do. And when you start focusing on things to make it positive, then those are the kinds of things that come about. But learning how to communicate with Yeshua or whomever you want to communicate with, your higher self, your your family tree, it's 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 a wonderful experience. It's just a tremendous experience. And the love that you feel is really great. So start out by asking questions. The money is not here yet. Is there, Am I doing something wrong? Am I not being qualified? Is there something that I'm doing that's canceling up? Do I have any restrictions that I put on this? Those are the kinds of things. Uh, and, uh, you know, you may want to ask, uh, do I have good intentions about using the money? Is is my process and my thinking process, is it, is it correct? Am I opening up to the correct assumptions about how to use the funds and so forth? Um, these are the kinds of questions you ask and start a conversation. It's not just the yes or no answers. It's a conversation that you get, that you get to have. Because you are the creator of your life and they're not going to override that. And they won't put thoughts and ideas in your mind. You have to put them there yourself. And then if your thinking is correct, then they'll, they'll let you know. And if it's not, then you might have to go back to the drawing boards and see if there's some things that you and let spirit tell you or help you to understand where there's some problems. If you don't ask, you won't get the solutions. So it's a personal thing. And if you don't take it personally, then you're, you're missing out on what's available to you. So there's assumptions that we make that are not correct. And those assumptions are that, well, they, I asked, so they know what I want. And then in behind all of that, you've got your thought process. And it's like, I'm not good enough. Those are the kinds of problems that you have. <clears throat> they will come out in the conversations. You know, believe me, they're the, the right way to do things is always available to us. Always available to us. Because they love us. And they want us to succeed in our lives. So communications is the best thing that I know how to tell you when they answer to that question. So I hope that's helpful. Wonderful, Ron. Uh, we have a few seconds more, but we'll go ahead and uh, stop here and come back with another great question. So, okay. Thanks, Ron. You're welcome. <laughs>